guys, it's Nikita Lene back with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about how I used YouTube to study for nursing school and how I incorporated it into my everyday study routine and also why I use YouTube to study. I myself am a very visual and auditory learner. I recognize that I pick up on information and I tend to tuck things into my long-term memory if I see them or if I hear them. And the combination of the two really helps to solidify that information, um, tucking it in my long-term memory, helping me to memorize things a lot faster. So the use of YouTube to study for nursing school was almost a no-brainer for me. Um, once I was able to incorporate um, watching and listening to these videos and using the repetition of these videos, I really saw my grades increase. Um, furthermore, there's just um, a lot that you have to learn for nursing school. And let's be real, sitting in class for however many hours of lecture, you're not going to learn everything you need to know in the classroom setting. So as nursing students, we really have to um, kind of hone in on what type of learner we are and what works best for us and really uh, take advantage of it because you have only have so many hours in the day and you have so much learning to do. So you want to make sure that you are using your best study tools um, to accommodate to your best study assets. And you are really just taking advantage of the time that you do have to study. Tip number one is to make a study list. Now, whenever you're studying from your book, you wouldn't just open the book and just read everything from all three, four, five chapters that you're assigned, right? You have to understand that information overload is real. And when you are studying for nursing exams, you have to be specific. So just like you would look for a specific topic in your textbook, you're going to do the same with your YouTube search. So you want to make sure that you start with a list that is specific. So this can be done by taking the study guide that's given to you by your nursing instructors. Or if you don't receive study guides, which some instructors don't do that, you want to take a list of the chapters that you are going to read and go within those chapters and look at some of the subtitles and subtopics of what you're going to need to know within those chapters. Um, once you make that detailed list, it's going to make your search a lot easier. Point number two is to be specific in your search. You've created your detailed list of everything you need to know for your exam so that when you sit down, you can look for those subtopics easily. Now, if you were to do a um, search for something like nursing videos on the endocrine system, you could literally be on YouTube all night long and still never find what you're looking for. So you want your searches to be a little bit more detailed. For example, if you knew that you had to study diabetes, um, which fell under your chapter on endocrine, then you would do a search for nursing videos on diabetes. Or even more specific, you can say nursing videos on diagnosing diabetes or signs and symptoms of diabetes. But you don't wanna use anything that's gonna to be too broad because there are gonna be millions and millions of videos for you to sift through and you're really gonna find yourself just wasting time looking for something that you're not gonna find specifically. Step number three is to be intentional with your studying. And this is done by reading over whatever notes you already have this will refresh your memory on what you already know on the topic. Furthermore, you can always add to those notes as you're watching the video. That way you can always have those notes to come back to at a later time. Additionally, you, with YouTube, you can always take screenshots or photos of diagrams and pictures that are used in the YouTube video so that you can reference those at a later time and date as well. Tip number four is to create playlists. For me, creating playlists was an easy way for me to organize the information where I could easily reference it later. Um, all of my binders that I had for nursing school were labeled for each particular class and then they were sectioned off for each exam. So when I needed to find information, I would just go to, for example, my med search binder and look at exam one, exam two, three, etc. When it's time to study for finals, I would be able to grab my binder and find my notes. 
I made sure that when I made playlists that I organized the playlist to match my nursing school binder. So for example, if I knew in exam one, I needed to brush up on diabetes, then I would easily be able to go to my playlist that is labeled exam one, MedSurge exam one. So it's super easy for me to find the information while I'm studying. I can follow along with my binder and my playlist and be able to find anything that I needed really quick. Tip number five for using YouTube to study for nursing school is to find ways to incorporate it into your study routine. Now the thing I love about YouTube is that I can take it on the go. As a mom and a um, full-time student, I was always on the go, always headed somewhere, always sitting in this Dallas traffic. So I love YouTube because once I've made a playlist, I know everything on that playlist is specifically what I need. I don't have to search anywhere else for the information. It's a really quick, easy way for me to reference the information that I need to review. So I could listen to my playlist in the car while I'm driving an hour away or sitting in traffic on my way to clinicals or on my way to class or on my way home from class, while I'm folding laundry, while I'm cooking dinner, whatever it is I'm doing, I can simply put that playlist on and I know that everything on that playlist is exactly what I need to listen to and watch um, to review for my exam. This turned out to be a super easy way for me to review my information and the repetition of hearing it over and over again really helped to solidify my long-term um, memorization of all of this information. And as I stated before, it's just super easy to throw on a playlist while you're cooking dinner for your family or folding laundry or whatever it is that you have to do where you don't have to physically pull out a book and sit there and read and read your notes. And it kind of makes it a little bit fun. It's an alternative way for you to study. Um, and it's just so much easier for you to be able to do it. So the best thing to do is just find out how you can incorporate it into your study routine, make studying a little bit easier for yourself. Um, just, make it fun. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I hope that you guys are able to take this information and incorporate some of these YouTube videos into your study routine. My very next video that I will have after this one is going to be my top 10 YouTube channels that I use to study through nursing school. I will also have a detailed list in the description box that will include links to all 10 of these YouTube channels. So please um, stick around for that. And um, thanks again. Have a great day.